In this video, I'm going to show you what vector components are and how to find them with your calculator. Okay, so concept zero here is that this is a perfectly good angle magnitude vector. This is, somebody's given you an angle and somebody's given you the magnitude here. This happens to be a displacement vector because this is like a distance. Okay, now we could also express the same vector as the sum of two components. Right, so we could say this is how much it is in the x direction and then we could say this is how much it is in the y direction. We would call this the y component, and we'd call this the x component. It just means this is how much it actually moves in the x direction, how much it moves in the y direction. And if we put them together, we get this vector at that angle. Okay? And if this is our x component, if this perhaps maybe is 4 centimeters, and that's what it is. If you pick that particular angle and that magnitude, this is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And this one is 3.0 centimeters. We would write this vector this way. A is equal to 4.0 centimeters in the x direction. And this is how you write it in physics, okay? Plus 3.0 centimeters in the y direction, okay? You can also say 4 centimeters x hat plus 3 centimeters y hat if you want to be a nerd, okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to use our calculator to find these. Somebody gives you this angle, I'll show you how to do that. But before we do that, we've got to um, make sure that our calculator is um, in radians, right? So what you do in your calculator is you click mode like that, and then you have to go down here. See how it says radians? You want to click that over to degrees, hit enter, clear, right? And then in your calculator, this is how you know you're in uh, degrees. Take the sine of 90. Don't need the right parenthesis, but there it is. If you get some random weird number, okay, then you're in radians. Who knows what 90 radians is? But sine of 90 is uh, the y coordinate on the unit circle at 90 degrees, which is straight up, and so it's 1, okay? So that's what we have to do, okay? Now, let's go back to, uh, to here, okay? So here's an example of this, right? The first step that we're going to do here is we've got to find what the trig angle is. Well. The trig angle is a tricky thing. It is the trig angle is the angle anti-clockwise from the x-axis. So here to here. That's the trig angle. So it's bigger than 90 degrees, not as big as 180 degrees. It's the angle between this line here and that line there. Okay, so it's 12 meters, 27 degrees over there. Right? So what we do is we go, okay, if I went from here to here, it would be 180. I didn't quite make it there. I'm 27 degrees shy, so I'm going to go the trig angle is 180 minus 27 is 153 degrees. That's the trig angle. This is the hardest part of all. The rest of it's really easy because our x component is the magnitude times the cos. That's what those buttons are for on your calculator. The y component is the magnitude times the sine. So the x component is equal to the magnitude, 12, times the cosine of 153. Okay, so my calculator, let's make sure I'm in, a, and I am, I'm checking on my calculator. So 12 cos 153 is negative 10.692. Okay, the y component is just simply 12 times sine 153. Okay, so if I go 12 sine 153, I get 5.448 positive. And these are meters, so these units here will be meters. Okay, and now let's just do a little double check here we would expect the x component, this blue line, to be longer than the red line. And indeed, that number is bigger than this number, right? We would also expect the x component to be negative, because it's in the negative x direction, but the y component to be positive. And indeed, that's negative and that's positive. We're almost done. Now we have to write it this way. Let's take a liberty here and add like one more sig fig or something like that, right? So I would say that it um, that, that vector is uh, negative 10.7 meters in the x direction. And I'm just adding a sig fig, okay? Uh, plus 
5.448 meters in the y direction. And we're done. Okay? Now, I think that uh, the hardest thing here is to find that trig angle. So let's practice trig angle here. Okay? We're going to practice some trig angles, and then we're going to do another example, and then we're going to call this a very long but not very exciting video. Okay? So remember, this is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180. If somebody gives you some random thing like this, right, and some angle, the real trig angle is anti-clockwise from this, right? And anti-clockwise, that's counterclockwise, right? That's how the Brits say it. So let's take a look at this, right? That angle right there, that is the trig angle. It is anti-clockwise from the x-axis. So there it is, right? That is the trig angle. This angle here is not the trig angle, right? So let's, uh, let's do, uh, let's draw this in here, right? Here is uh, 0, 90, uh, 180, 270 is down here, right? So this, the trig angle is all the way like that, right? So this is actually 15 degrees shy of 270. So you would say 270 minus 15, it would be 255 degrees would be the trig angle. Okay, let's look at another one here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's draw our little... Okay, so 090, 180, 270... Okay, so this guy went past 270, right? So it's 51 beyond 270, so you'd say 270 plus 51, and that's 321. Okay, so that's 321 degrees is the actual trig angle that we would use. And then this one's tricky, right? You know, it's like, okay, we went all the way around, almost all the way around, almost to 360, but 17 degrees shy of 360, right? So that would be 360 minus 17, which would be 343. If you want to be a tricky little person, you know, you can actually say negative 17, right? Because it's negative anti-clockwise or something like that. I tend not to do that. I do this, but you know, it's up to you. Let me do one more example for you. And then um, I'll put many examples up. You can look at them if you need to. Okay. So first step, we want to find the components of this. The first step is that's not the trig angle. So let's find the trig angle. Okay, so 0, that's 90, that's 180, 270. And if you look at that, it's actually this angle here is beyond 90. We got to 90, we went past 31 degrees, right? So 90 plus 31 is 121 degrees. That's the trig angle, right? Okay. And then the x component is going to be uh, the magnitude, this is the velocity vector, 23 cos 121. 23 cos 121. And that's negative, oh, what did I do? <laughs> I lost it. Okay, so our trig angle is 121, right? And so it's, um, it's 23 cos 121. I don't know what happened there, right? And I get, uh, that's the x component, negative 11.885, I'll say, 8458. Okay, and then the y component will be, would be 23 sine 121. I have no idea what keystroke I hit there. I must have hit a key or something. Okay, so then we go 23 sine 121, and I get 19.715. Okay, and now all we have to do is just write this in proper notation, which would be um, negative 11.8 meters per second in the x hat, in the x direction, right, plus 19.7 meters per second in the y direction. Okay, and this is exactly what we'd expect. Uh, this angle right here is smaller than 45 degrees, so we would expect the adjacent side to be bigger than, right? A bigger y component, and then we'd have a smaller x component. The x component should be negative, right? 
So go look at the, um, there's other examples if you want to do more examples, but you should be good. If you understand this, you can work through this. You should be good for tomorrow.